So Boston is in a position it does not want to be in as they are now trapped in a do or die game seven against the Toronto Maple Leafs on home ice, regardless of the fact that they were up three games to one, including two wins early on to go up and start the lead of the series two to games to nothing. Uh, but this is a big game for a lot of the Bruins players. Uh, specifically in the names of Tuka Rask, David Krejci, and Rick Nash. And from those three guys and the entire rest of the team, Boston needs a big and early and quick start to this game. Um, and they need to make sure that the star of this whole series, Frederick Anderson, is not in their heads because he's not that good in Game 7s either, but in elimination games, Rask has proven to be, well, to Rask. We know what it's, he's all about. So Game 7, do or die on the Bruins. Recap show. We start things off in the first period, and your officiating crew for the night is Wes McCauley and Kevin Pollock, and it's... Well note, because to start the game, Bruce Cassidy sends out the worker bees, and I forget who it was, who, uh, I think it was Sean Corrali, maybe Timmy Schaller, or Achari, I forget which one, um, but they get the stick, like, right into the leg, for like a little love tap, and Toronto just, pff, flaws all over himself, uh, that's apparently a penalty in game seven of the Stanley Cup playoffs, but, okay, sure. Uh, Toronto gets the power play, and it's a power play goal from Patty Marlowe on a tip-in. Um, yeah, just a questionable call leads to that goal. Uh, but Boston will get a power play right back as Toronto will, f in their own zone, fling the puck out and out of the zone. That's a delay of game. That's two minutes. Uh, Krejci uh, keeps the puck in, gives it over to David Pasternak. Pasternak takes the shot. And Jake DeBrusque is right there for the goal. Stop tip. Beats Frederick Anderson. Although, early on in this power play, I think they scored before or two. As the Tory Krug shot trickles its way through Anderson. Um, it was hard to tell if that crossed the line or not. But Jake DeBrusque will get it regardless. 1-1 one, one we are. Uh, but again, a little bit later on, it's Patrick Marlowe. And um, tell me if you haven't heard this one before. A turnover by David Krejci. Too late. And it goes to Mitch Marner, who gives it over to Marlowe. That's a goal. 2-1, Marlowe's second of the game. Uh, Toronto takes the lead back again. But later on, it's offensive pressure from Nash uh, and Krejci. Nash wins the puck battle. Goes to the front of the net looking for David Krejci. But Danton Heine is the third guy high. And he gets the puck and wham! Hammers it through. Uh, making... Dave, um, Bruce Cassidy looked really, really good here as he sat Tommy, uh, Tommy Wingles, didn't put in Ryan Donato, instead went with Danton Heinen, who scores a pivotal tying goal in the first period. So again, towards the end of the first period, I think with about 36 or so seconds to go, it's David Backus, and he's causing havoc, he finds Kevin Miller, Kevin Miller takes the shot intentionally wide, Bergeron is there, bats it in, 3-2, Boston! They were outplayed. They got two power plays, turning the puck over all over the place, but they'll go down the tunnel, ending the first period, up a goal. Impressive start for Boston, um, but we go to the second period. And in the second period, it's Travis McDermott. Uh, David Pasternak takes a shot. It ends up, or uh, I'm sorry, David Pasternak blocks a McDermott shot. He goes right back to him, and he skates by his... Uh, Pasternak's trying to get up, and a wrist shot, and this is this is the save that Tuka Rask has got to make. But, it's game seven, and it's Tuka Rask. So it's tied. And that was a deflating goal, as Boston will get another power play attempt. Um, and Marshawn can't keep the puck in the zone. It's a race between him and Kasperi Kapanen. Uh, it looks like Kasperi Kapanen, as he's trying to get by him, sl uh, completely slew foots ma Marshawn, um, but uncalled. Uh, so he gets the puck, he just dekes forehand, backhand, forehand, backhand, and tracks it past Tukaras for the shorthand. 
Toronto will go down the tunnel up 4-3 to three after 2. And then there was that third period. As Boston, a face-off win. As Bergeron has the puck in between his face. Kevin Miller picks it out of the, sk- out of the s- scrum of bodies. Finds Tory Krug. And it's a nightmare on Causeway Street. Freddie Anderson. Tory Krug rips it. 4-4 Boston. And Boston would not be done later on. Again, Kevin Miller wins a zone battle to David Krejci. David Krejci short passes to Jake DeBrusque. And he is off to the races. As he goes self-pass backhand, forehand, five-hole on Freddie Anderson. 5 Four, Boston, but we're not done. As a little bit later on, puck win from Brad Marchand. Gives it over to Bergeron on a short pass behind the net. Bergeron to the front of the net, and it's David Pasternak who's there. Makes a little move. Gets Frederick Anderson moving, and buries it. A beauty goal from the pasta. As he has been phenomenal for the majority of this series. There was a couple of games where that top line wasn't there, but they were there tonight. 6-4 Boston. And to seal the deal, Brad Marchand will put in an empty netter. And that is the series. 7-4 win for Boston. They eliminate the uh, Toronto Maple Leafs. Hey, everybody. We're all going to get laid. <laughs> they move on to take on the Tampa Bay Lightning which they have uh, done pretty well against. I believe they're 3-1 and one in the regular season. So we'll take a quickly three stars of the game. Star number three, David Pasternak. Give him a goal and an assist. Star number two, Patrice Bergeron. A goal and two assists. And your number one star, he is the star of the series. Have yourself a breakout series. Jake DeBrusque, rookie of the year. Two goals in this one. Timely goals, go-ahead goal, game-tying goal. Jake DeBrusque, a force out there. He's been the best player on that second line throughout the entirety of this playoff. Um, And the Bruins take this one despite turnovers. Despite Tuka Rask playing like Tuka Rask in Game 7. The offense explodes in the third period. They come from behind and take this one 7-4. They will take on the Tampa Bay Lightning in the second round. And it will be Saturday at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So we'll see you after that. Go Boston! Round number two. Handshakes. Go shake their hands. Sorry Steve Dangle. On the Bruins. Recap show.